What you're seeing on screen right now is the gameplay of Doom Eternal that was accidentally released by uh, VentureBeat or GamesBeat of Dean Takahashi playing the game. Because I guess Dean Takahashi was the one specified as the guy who's going to review it, which is not a good sign. Not at all. If you don't know, Dean Takahashi has been covering video games as a journalist for 21 years at this point. Specifically for GamesBeat. He's like a lead writer at GamesBeat, I believe. And he's been doing this for 21 years. And this is how he plays. This is how he plays the fucking video game. Holy shit. I, I'm i sorry I'm bursting out the swear words now, but... Oh my god. I... this It's so frustrating. This is... If you don't know, this is the same guy who also couldn't beat the... um. He had difficulty beating the tutorial of Cuphead. The tutorial level of Cuphead that taught him how to jump and dash. And he couldn't figure out the concept of jumping and dashing at the same time. This is the same dude. Same guy, yeah. Uh, and yet he's still reviewing video games and he's just as bad as ever. And as it turns out, uh... This is also a pattern for him. This is, this is not a fluke. This is not an abnormality. Uh, this is perfectly normal for him. Because in the late 2000s, 2007, 2008, he reviewed the original Mass Effect when it came out. And he gave it a terrible review, called it Mass Defect. And uh, apparently, one of his main complaints is in the form of the gameplay. And as it was revealed, the reason he had such trouble playing the game was because he had no idea the leveling system existed. The leveling system in Mass Effect is a core part of the gameplay. The game will tell you straight up whether level ups will be automatic depending on the difficulty of the game you choose. From the very start, but apparently, for about four hours of gameplay, he couldn't figure out that that fucking existed. These are the kinds of people that are trusted reviewers. These are the people that have all the credit. They get all the preview access to review the newest video games. They, they get like high pay. They get all the credit. They get their name slapped on everything. Holy shit. These are the people that are trusted to review video games. These are the people who can impact Metacritic scores. These are the people who can impact the sales of video games, who can determine whether certain developers will even get their pay bonus when the video game releases because certain video game companies out there will uh they they will pay they will hold off on an employee's bonus pay uh if the game doesn't get a certain metacritic score and these are the people that determine what that metacritic score is people like dean takahashi and i say people like dean takahashi because a lot of these journalists play like him. A lot of them. A ton. I remember there was an old, there was a, a Polygon or a Kotaku article, I can't remember which, that was supposed to be a review for Sekiro, right? The new From Software game, a really fast, really action oriented Dark Souls like game, right? I say Dark Souls like just in the most bare bones sense, you know? Because it's much faster and more explorative than uh, than Dark Souls is, which is much slower and more uh, methodical, but you get the idea. You get the idea. From software, Dark Souls-like game, whatever. Meant to be really, really hard. Uh, the article complained that the game was too hard and that the, the reviewer uh, just quit after a few days because he couldn't beat the first boss. And instead of handing off a review of the game to someone else, someone who can actually beat the fucking game, who can play through most of it or even get at least halfway, he just reviewed it and gave it a bad score. What the shit? What the shit? These are the people who are playing these fucking games. These are people who are reviewing the shit. They're slow. They, look at this. He does, he's punching a pickup item. He's shooting it. What is wrong with him? He can't figure out... He's punching a pickup item. He can't figure out that he's supposed to jump over the chains and instead will just walk on the rivers of lava. These are the people that are trusted to make these reviews. What the hell? Meanwhile, 
Meanwhile, you got tons of independent uh, video game reviewers here on YouTube who will, like, create these fully scripted, fully edited, produced vi review videos that are, like, detailed analyses of the games, and it's clearly from the perspective of someone who knows their shit, who understands what their personal tastes are, who doesn't have the ego of Mount Everest to just decide that, well, I can't beat the game, therefore it's bad. You know? Examples of this are uh, Mandalore Gaming, uh, Seth, I, I can't remember the full name, but Seth with two S's, you'll know him immediately. Uh, hey, hey, people, Seth here, that guy. Um, Shammy, uh, da, 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 Dunky, Video Game Dunky. He, he lampooned all this Video Game Critics stuff a, long, a while back with this Video Game Critics video, the part one of it. And, and Dunky made a really good point of, like, you know, these, the independent reviewers, you know, these, in, these independent reviewers who make these videos, their tastes are very clear. Their personalities are clear. What clicks with them is clear. Like, Dunky ad admits he has a very short attention span, so he hates, he hates, like, uh, turn-based gameplay. He hates JRPGs, and he hates the anime style, right? So you go in knowing that kind of stuff. He likes the high-octane action. He doesn't like slow turn-based stuff. You, you understand that when you go into his review. And even when he, he's playing a game that's clearly something he doesn't like, he will try to get, he will get through enough of it and to the point where he's at least competent in it, even if he doesn't like it. Or like, you know, Mandalore Gaming, again, Mandalore Gaming... He recently put out a review of the Blade Runner point-and-click adventure game that came out in, like, 95 and got re-released on GOG late recently. His video is, like, a 19-minute detailed, edited, scripted analysis of the game's story, the gameplay, and even goes into some of the history of the development of the game itself. And, like, and again, these people generally do this stuff on their own. They not only play the game almost to completion, in, well, in most parts to completion, if not the, just the majority of the game, their, their footage, their gameplay footage that they use all the time makes it clear that they're very competent and that, yeah, I'm, pl I'm playing the, uh, the mirrored re- uh, um, I got the mirrored re-upload re re footage of this game out here, so that's why, you know, you saw the little YouTube thing there. But, like, that's, you know, these people, they put in an amount of effort that most people just don't. They put in so much effort into this, and, and I, un, I respect them way more for it because I've started my own edited reviews, my Rat Lab reviews. You know, that stuff's like fully edited and everything. Or at least I'm, I'm you know, I'm starting to script and edit more with those Rat Lab reviews, like opposing for, like Half-Life Opposing Force and my Kwame 2 review. And those take hours upon hours, hours of sh sifting through footage and shit. And it's just like quick three, almost four minute videos. Like it's nothing. And I don't even use that much in the way of actual editing. Like I don't, I don't really add in images or weird sound effects or anything like that much. I just sort of, you know, put the footage up there. I don't do m much in the way of real editing. People like the, the other people I mentioned, you know, Mandalore, Shammy, all the Mandalore, Shammy, Seth, Dunky, all them, they put way more effort into it. And now that I know the process, at least a little bit, I, I respect them way more for it. But of course, these aren't the people that are, that are trusted by, you know, Metacritic. The general public, major, major outlets, no. Instead, it's people like this. So it's people like Dean Takahashi here, who, are, who can barely understand how to read a 3D map and jump over a fucking wall of fire chains. Holy shit. Yeah. That's why the, uh, that's why I find these journalists so annoying. Yep. These are the people that are trusted with this stuff. Not the, not the independent reviewers who go through all the effort themselves, who play the majority of the game, who become competent at the game, who completely cre create these reviews all on their own, who don't have a team to edit stuff together, to write scripts for them, you know, all that stuff. No, in instead it's these people. These are the people who can impact the scores. These are the people who who have a voice in, in the industry. These are the people who get to chat with developers in back rooms at, at uh, video game conventions. These, that's people like this. In Takashi.
21 years of video game coverage right here. This irritates me far more now that I've actually tried reviewing games myself. Yeah. This, uh... This has been The Rat Man, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.